Hello, 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 my fellow engineers. I hope you've all had a great time over the holiday period. I'm back after a short hiatus to introduce what I've been working on. While I've been away, I've put together a series that will do a ground-up build of a scalable Python application. We'll be using a variety of modern technology that most software engineers will be using on a daily basis. We're going to be building a clothes store using Python with SQL Alchemy to interact with a Postgres database. We'll also use Flask with JSON Schema for our API and Docker to containerize our application for scalability. So how are we going to do that? Well, we'll work with bite-sized tickets. Yes, we are going agile. We'll be using unit and integration tests as all robust applications need. We'll go through the definition of done at the end of each ticket to close it off. And most importantly, we'll be using Git for version control. Just some disclaimers before we get into this. I'll be trying to keep this as simple as possible. Though you'll require some Python knowledge and some general background to the technologies we'll be using, this won't be a complex system. Although it is similar to systems that a lot of software engineers will be building on a daily basis. I think it's vital that we keep the tickets as short and as bite-sized as possible so as not to muddy the waters. This won't be a build a scalable system in an hour video. We'll be going through each part in detail to fully understand what is going on from a software engineer perspective. So without further ado, here is the first ticket for this project and it will probably be the smallest. Each video in this series will start with a ticket like this for us to work through. It's important to take some time at the beginning of a ticket to fully understand what is required. In this ticket, we're going to log into GitHub We'll create a repository called ClothesShop. We'll initialize it with a readme and a gitignore, and then we're going to clone it locally to work on in future tickets. Firstly, you'll need to log into GitHub. If you haven't got a GitHub, then just pause the video and create one. I know most people will just want to build things on their local system to learn, but this is a great opportunity to give you something to show maybe prospective employers should they want to see some of your work in the future. Once you've logged in, then we're going to create a repository called Clothes Shop. So we're going to click New. Clothes Shop is available. Now we're going to set a description. Then we'll set it for public so that other people can see our work. We're going to add a readme and a dot git ignore file. And we're going to choose a template for Python. This just adds common Python files that are not needed for version control. Typically, your version control will only really contain files that you modify, i.e. code or files that are needed in order to, for the application or test to run. For example, you may have some dummy data files for your test suite. We don't expect anyone wants to use or modify this code, so we won't add a license. And then we just create. Finally, we need to clone the repository. For this, you'll need to set up your git ssh. You'll need to follow this setup from GitHub. This first link walks you through how to generate your ssh keys locally. And this second link shows you how to add them to your GitHub account. They are both copy and paste walkthroughs. So I'll leave these two links in the description. Pause the video, read through and set it up. Then you'll be all set to clone your repository. I'm just going to create a new directory for this project to work in. To do that, open a terminal and type the following. Then I'm going to change directory into the current directory that I've just created. Then go back to your repository, click on the code button and copy the SSH string. Then to clone your repository locally, in the folder you've just created, type the following, git clone and paste your SSH string. Now you can see what's in the folder just by typing the following here. We can change directory into the cloned and we can see what's in there. So as you can see, we've got our readme. So I believe that's it. So let's go through the definition of done. If you've not heard of this concept, it's pretty straightforward. We're just going to go through the tickets acceptance criteria and make sure that we have covered all of them. So we've logged in to GitHub. We've created a repository called Clothes Shop. We initialize that repository with a readme and a .gitignore file. 
And finally, we cloned that repository to work on locally. So that's it for this first video in this series. Super simple. I'll be trying my best to get one video out on this per week so that we can motor on with this project. The next video will be setting up our database. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll catch you on the next one.